Fristam Pumps is a leading manufacturer of high quality sanitary stainless steel pumps, blenders and mixers. FZX Liquid Ring Pump Seal Replacement. Before beginning, follow your company's lockout tagout procedure. Reference the FZX maintenance manual online for additional safety precautions, tool sizes, torque values, and technical information. Tools required. Soft faced hammer, 3 8 inch diameter rod, ratchet with 24 millimeter and 15 16 inch sockets, 3 quarter inch wrench, food grade lubricant, denatured alcohol and soft cloth, torque wrench, O-ring pick, FZX pumps do not require gapping if simply changing a seal. Removing the seal. To begin, remove the flange guard. Using a soft-faced hammer, loosen and remove the cover nuts. Remove the cover and discard the cover O-ring. Remove the impeller by placing a 3 8 inch rod in the shaft hole to lock the shaft. Use the socket with ratchet to remove the impeller nut. Discard the impeller nut gasket and remove the rod. The model 2400 will feature an impeller bolt and washer assembly instead of an impeller nut. Remove the impeller and discard the impeller O-ring. Remove the impeller key. Using the 3 quarter inch wrench, remove the housing bolts and washers that attach the pump housing to the flange support. Now slide the pump housing off the end of the pump shaft. Place the pump housing face down on the housing studs. Remove the stationary seal by placing two fingers in the center of the seal and pulling up. If the wave spring did not come out, remove and discard it along with the stationary seal. Remove and discard the stationary seal O-ring. For pumps with double seals, remove both the stationary and flush seals by placing your fingers in the center of the seals and pulling up. The seal should come out of the seal cavity as one unit. Discard them after removal. Remove and discard both the stationary and flush seal springs. Remove and discard the stationary seal O-ring. Remove and discard the flush seal O-ring. Remove the rotating seal and rotating seal O-ring from the shaft and discard them. You are now ready to install the new seal. Installing the new seal. When replacing a seal, use all of the components of the new seal kit and discard all old seal components. Failure to use Fristam genuine parts will void the pump warranty and can result in seal failure. Parts of a Fristam FZX seal kit, impeller nut gasket, impeller O-ring, stationary seal, stationary seal O-ring, single seal spring, rotating seal, rotating seal O-ring, double seal only, flush seal, flush seal O-ring, flush seal spring, model 2400 only, impeller bolt O-ring, impeller bolt washer O-ring, when handling seals, avoid touching the new seal faces as much as possible. Use denatured alcohol and a soft cloth to clean seal faces. To install the new seal components into the hub of the pump housing, place the pump housing on a clean surface with the hub side up. Inspect the hub area to ensure that it is clean. For both single and double seal pumps, install the new stationary seal O-ring into the housing hub. Place the stationary seal spring into the seal cavity on the inside of the pins. Align the notches in the spring against the bases of the pins. For single seal pumps, lubricate around the new stationary seal. Install it into the seal cavity, aligning the notches with the pins in the seal cavity. 
for pumps with double seals. Place the flush seal spring into the seal cavity on the outside of the pins. Align the notches in the spring against the bases of the pins. Install the flush seal O-ring into the housing hub. Lubricate around the new stationary seal. Install it into the seal cavity, aligning the notches with the pins in the seal cavity. Lubricate around the flush seal. Insert the flush seal into the seal cavity, aligning the notches in the seal with the pins in the seal cavity. The flush seal will fit around the stationary seal that is already in place. Lubricate the new rotating seal O-ring and place it on the rotating seal. Install the rotating seal onto the shaft, matching the grooves on the shaft so the seal is properly seated. Carefully slide the pump housing over the pump shaft and back against the flange support. The stationary seal may be damaged if it makes hard contact with the pump shaft. Install the housing bolts and check that the pump is level. Tighten the housing bolts with a 3 quarter inch wrench to the correct torque. Place the impeller key into the keyway on the shaft. Lubricate the new impeller O-ring and place it in the groove on the back of the impeller. Slide the impeller onto the pump shaft. Lubricate the impeller nut gasket and place it onto the impeller nut. The raised face of the gasket will go into the groove on the impeller nut. Thread the impeller nut onto the pump shaft. Place the 3 8 inch rod in the shaft hole. Using a socket with a torque wrench, tighten the impeller nut to the correct torque. Remove the rod. Using a feeler gauge, ensure that the impeller gap is correct. Install the cover O-ring. Install the cover. Install the cover nuts and tighten with a soft-faced hammer. Rotate the shaft to check for rubbing. If any is detected, recheck your seal installation. Replace the flange guard. The pump is now ready to be placed back into service. Shaft change and gapping. To change the shaft, First, remove the pump's cover, impeller, and seals as previously shown. Loosen the shaft collar. Pull the pump shaft off the motor shaft. Installing the new shaft. Install the shaft collar onto the new pump shaft. Slide the pump shaft onto the motor shaft. The next step is to gap the impeller. Place the pump housing onto the flange support. Install the housing bolts and tighten with a 3 quarter inch wrench. Install the pump shaft key. Place the plastic gapping shim that is supplied with the pump over the hub of the impeller. Slide the impeller onto the pump shaft. Place the impeller nut or impeller bolt onto the pump shaft. Place the 3 8 inch diameter rod in the hole on the shaft. Allow the rod to rest against the flange support 
to keep the shaft from rotating while tightening the impeller nut or bolt to the correct torque. Align the slot of the clamping ring directly over one of the slots on the shaft. Ensure the impeller is snug to the housing and secure the shaft collar with the Allen wrench to the specified torque. Now that the pump is properly gapped, the shim can be removed. Remove the impeller nut or bolt. Remove the impeller. Remove the shim. Reassemble the rest of the pump head as previously shown. Rotate the shaft to check for rubbing. If any is detected, recheck your gap. Reinstall the flange guard. The pump is now ready to be placed back into service.